Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Lightroom Classic tutorial, I'm going to talk about the power of the Curves tool and how to use it. So if you head over to the right hand side, you should find the Curves tool under Tone Curve. And this is a tool that will be familiar to you if you've used many other different editing programs. And it's probably one of the most powerful adjustment tools that you have as well. So by default, the Tone Curve is a straight diagonal line from bottom left to top right. And this represents the shadows or the most black points and the highlights or the most white points and all the curves in between. So what you're looking at here, this little graph behind it is the histogram. It's the same thing that you see up here. It's just showing you a kind of graph representation of what your photo looks like. So this photo, it's a lot in kind of like the darker gray area. You can see there's not much going on as far as highlights, but there's a small, small peak. You can kind of can't even see it for these little highlights. But other than that, everything's kind of hanging out in the shadows. So with different photos, you'll have different histograms. It's just showing you some different information about your photo. So like I said, the bottom left point is black and the top right point is white. So just to demonstrate that, if I pull the bottom black point up to 50%, you'll see that all of the shadows are now 50% gray. And if I pull the highlights down to 50%, you'll see that now all of the highlights are 50% gray. So when we've created a neutral line, we've removed all the contrast from an image, created a flat 50% gray image. Likewise, if I was to bring the shadows all the way up and the highlights all the way up, it's pure white. So you just kind of get an idea of what these points are doing. Now, the cool part is we don't have to only adjust the pure black or pure white points. We can adjust the points in between and create a curve. So if I was to bring the middle point down a little bit darker, you see that we've created a little bit darker curve. If I was to bring it higher, we've increased the brightness a little bit. And the cool part is you can add as many points as you want onto this curve. So if I was to bring the shadows darker and the highlights a little brighter, now what we've done is we've basically increased the contrast. If you want to remove any point from your photo, you can always just double click on it and it will remove that point and reset things. Another way I can increase the contrast is by simply taking the highlight point and pushing it to the left a little bit, or you can take the shadow point, push it in a little bit, and that's a cool way to bring this range a little bit more together and have it be more contrast from black to white and less grays in between. And you can also do both, adjust the curves like that. A little bit of tweaking has given us a contrast boost, and you can click this button here to toggle on and off just to kind of see what it looks like or check the before and after like this. And I think we've really added the contrast that this photo needed from the before. However, the capabilities of the curve tool don't stop there. Not only can you adjust the entire red, green, blue, or RGB color channels, you can narrow in on just one color channel at a time. So red, green, or blue, and you can adjust one color channel at a time. So if you know anything about additive color theory, how red, green, and blue all combine to create different colors, You'll know that, per, for example, if we remove red out of the highlights, we're going to produce a more blue image because all that's left, if we head over to the blue color channel and remove blue, it's going to leave us with a little bit more of a yellow tint. And there's all different kinds of combinations. So this gives us a chance to kind of color grade or even split tone and add different colors into the shadows, highlights, and the entire contrast curve of this photo. So I'll take some red out of the shadows of this photo, maybe introduce them into the highlights. We've instantly created a little bit more color interest. And you can see even in the top histogram, some of those color shifts reflect. I can mix and match this with some adjustments in the other panels. So if I go to the green, let's say I wanna add some green, just pull the green up a little bit, maybe add some green into the shadows or maybe remove it. And of course, you don't have to always touch all of these. You could just be doing a simple contrast fix, or you could be going into all the color channels and trying to get a really specific look. Another way that you can adjust besides the graph is you hit this little point right here. It'll allow you to adjust the points by clicking on an actual point in the photo, and you just maybe want to brighten up the contrast in this area, but darken it in this area. Additionally, another way that you can edit with curves is by using the point curves feature. And this just allows you to adjust the highlights, lights, darks, or shadows, just kind of zones in on a certain part and lets you adjust them with sliders. 
which can be useful as well. So you can see here we've boosted up the contrast and added color in the highlights and shadows in what might have taken us having to go into the split toning or contrast and exposure and temperature and mixing up a whole bunch of different options. Now of course after you've done the curves or even before you could also adjust the exposure and contrast and sometimes you might need to. The curves tool is very powerful and like I said it can do a lot on its own but it doesn't hurt to mix it with some of the other tools which might be more honed in on one specific adjustment. But I'm not going to do too much else to this photo. I'm just going to leave it at that and you can see the power of the curves tool has taken our photo from relatively gray to really nice strong contrast and color if that's the look that you want to go for. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know what you in the comments, leave a like on it below and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for more editing tutorials. And if you want to check out some more videos on curves and the power of some of these other tools and adjustments, you can watch more in my Lightroom or Photoshop playlist. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.